25-year-old Jeffrey Ryan Jones has been arrested for stealing children's items from department stores and reselling them at second-hand stores. Reading police tell me he was doing it to support a heroin habit and that heroin is now the hard drug of choice in the area. Second-hand stores aren't bound by the same laws as pawn shops, so investigators say it's easier to fence stolen items. I asked Diana Frazier of Kids Closet and More on Hilltop Drive what Jones told her. He said that his uncle buys lots of items, and I didn't think a whole lot about it because my son, who lives in Kentucky, buys lots of items, and he puts them, lists them on Craigslist and eBay, and it takes him a while to go through the items when you buy a lot like that, depending on the size of the lot. So when he would bring in one or two items and come back with one or two items, I didn't think a lot about it at first. Corey Isabella owns Miss Bella's Baby Boutique right down the street. She told me she, and stores like hers, buy new boxed items all the time. We get um, product all the time, I mean, that have tags on it still. People get extra stuff for their baby shower. Both women say they'll do what they can to make sure it doesn't happen again. It's definitely something that I'm going to be aware of if anybody comes with a box. But we can't be too judgmental. Like I said, we get used and new products that are still in boxes all the time. I had no idea that this stuff was stolen or I would have never ever purchased it just like all the other stores. Um, we all try to run legitimate businesses. I've owned the business for 15 years and never had RPD knocking on my door.